Councillor Cordova. Uh, thank you so much. Just some questions. Uh, I'm not going to give my contribution yet. My first question is about the loans that Kimber Council has taken on. We've taken on a number of loans and that have an interest-free component. My question is, was it possible to take on a larger loan than we did? And further to that, what will be the rate of interest we'll be paying when the interest-free period expires? Mr Breen. Mr Breen. Or Mr Arnold. Are you there? Yes, we can hear you. They got me, Mr. okay, Breen. sorry. Uh, yeah, they, essentially, um, we were in a position to be able to get some interest-free loans through the State Government Loan Program. Um, so we achieved uh, a bit over $12 million uh, in regards to you know, those interest-free loans. Um, that was our proportion of the $150 million that the State Government was uh, putting uh, out. Uh, it certainly has allowed us over the three-year period to run a fairly um, reasonable uh, level of cash reserves within the Council. Uh, so on that basis, uh, for the three-year period, we are uh, very comfortable in regards to the amount of cash that we've got. Obviously, the key thing then is at the end of the uh, three-year period is to be in a position to be able to repay as much of that debt as possible, uh, and that's what we'll be seeking to do. Uh, hopefully repay something like uh, about $10 million worth of that debt uh, at that point in time. Uh, in regards to interest rates, uh, it's very difficult to predict um, what the rates will be in three years' time, but certainly at the moment, uh, we're getting rates uh, around the one, one and a half percent uh, level. So uh, historically very low rates at the moment. Uh, if they stay that way, then uh, uh, the debt will be very cheap at that point in time. Uh, but I guess at some point in the future, you would expect rates to start increasing and uh, uh, you'd have to pay more at that, that time. Thank you. Through you, Mayor, a second question. If Council didn't pass the efficiency dividend of 380000 which I recognise it has, but if it didn't, would the Council have been insolvent or would it have been at risk of becoming insolvent? No. Uh, thank you, Mayor. My next question is that on the OurSay platform during the budget deliberations, we collected this year one question and three comments. By comparison, the OurSay forum received 10 ideas, 21 votes and five comments last year. So my question is, why do you suppose there was much less community engagement this year and how do you propose to improve community engagement next time? Ms Wilcox, are you able to answer that question? Thank you so much for that. And my other question about the process is there were seven submissions by my account from community members and organisations this year. How does that compare to the number of formal submissions we received last year? Does anyone know? Ms Wilcox. Okay, so it's down again. No worries. Thank you so much. My question now is about on page 33 of our agenda in the engineering section. Uh, it says that there's been a $20,000 reduction in expenditure on footpath condition assessment. My question is why? Um, I know Mr Reeves not here, so uh, Mr Breen or Mr Arnold? Hi, uh, yeah, through you, Mayor. Uh, essentially, uh, uh, the 60000 uh, in this financial year that we're in right at the moment was in regards to uh, what was uh, the road condition assessment. 
Uh, so they've uh, expended that this year, which was to get a, a condition assessment of our roads. Our next financial year, that's moving to do all the footpaths within the municipality and, and therefore a lesser cost of about $40,000. Thank you so much. Uh, through you, Mayor, on page 36 now, I'm looking at recreation and reserves. There's been a significant reduction in irrigation systems, installation and maintenance. Similarly, a big reduction, $18,700 gone from KWS maintenance. I'm wondering if anyone can speak to those reductions. Uh, I'm going to go with whichever council officer would like to answer that. Uh, yeah, look, I'll, uh, through you, Mayor, I'll, I'll uh, attempt to answer that one. And essentially with uh, these ones that are activity-based expenditure, uh, the manager at the start of the, uh, when he's preparing the budget, will have a look at the, uh, uh, I guess, the total amount that's available and tend to divide it up amongst the various activities that they're going to undertake over a 12-month period. And sometimes they may have an emphasis on one particular act activity as, as, as opposed to others. So they tend to balance that out. So my assumption there would be that uh, for some reason, perhaps they've spent more this year uh, and next year they, they need to spend less in that particular area. Uh, so it's really just for them, it's about saying, look, I've got a total budget here. I'll allocate it to the best, uh, for the best need of the, of the, uh, the community. Uh, and therefore they come up with this level of expenditure. Thank you. I'm up to my final few questions. Thank you for your indulgence, Mayor. Playground inspections. Uh, looking at playground inspections on page, I've lost what page it is, but there's been a $24,000 reduction in playground inspection expenditure. And I think in that final column, there could be a $250 misplaced. Can anybody speak to the playground ex inspections reduction? Mr. Brain. Oh, yes, through you, Mayor. Um, yeah, the specifics of that I don't know. Uh, I know that uh, this year was the first year that they've really put a lot of effort into playground inspections. It's the first time, and you know, I think they, they went out and did a, a specific audit of the playgrounds just to make sure that they knew exactly uh, where uh, there were issues that they needed to deal with. So uh, um, my assumption would be that this year we've been able to scale back the amount of work because they've done that audit and they've got the information uh, and now they're just carrying out the work that needs to, you know, to the, the normal inspections that they need to do. Thank you. On transport, on page 39, there have been nearly $40,000 in reduction of expenditure on firstly, asphalt corrections, and secondly, table drain maintenance. So I'm looking at page 39, wondering um, if we could explain those and will there be any diminution in, I guess, um, the provision of roads and drains because of that reduction. Mr. Rain. Uh, yes, through you, Mayor. Similar to uh, Rec and Reserves, uh, once again, transport's an activity-based uh, budget and they'll tend to direct funds in the areas that they see as, as the greatest need. Uh, and the assumption would be there that uh, uh, they see less, less need over the next uh, 12 months uh, and therefore have adjusted the budgets accordingly. Thank you. My final question, Mayor. The Regional Climate Change Initiative, the RICI Action Plan, has had $7,000 taken from it. That can be seen on page 28. My question is, why is this happening? Uh, why is money being taken from the RICI Action Plan, despite the latest flood studies showing the need for vigilance and increased investment in climate-related initiatives? Uh, Mr. Breen or Mr. Arnold? Uh, yes, uh, through you, Mayor. Um, essentially, with these ones, these are all uh, uh, project-based uh, activities. So uh, the manager uh, would have had a look at uh, uh, the, the, I guess, the activities they want to undertake over the next 12 months, and accordingly uh, has put forward a budget of 10,000. So the assumption would be that's all they feel they need to spend to carry out a certain activity uh, over that budget period. Thank you, Mayor. That's all for me.